Um, born to single parents. My mom, she's not with us anymore. We grew up with no money. Yeah, I started with nothing. I am all about money. Money does buy happiness. Rich people will always say, ah, oh, you know, money doesn't buy you happiness. Well, yeah. give all your money away, let's see. <laughs> not, 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 not one of them want to give I that money that. away. That's true. I do see a, quite a few uh, comparisons with yourself and Samuel Lee. You can't compare me to Samuel Lee. Yeah. He doesn't do what I do. I am not the same as anybody yeah. because I actually do what I say I'm going to do. There's no one who's yeah. on my level. We had 1.24 million in 30 minutes. And if I'm, if I'm being completely honest, genuinely, I could raise 20 million pounds today just off Instagram. Today's episode is a little bit different. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot. It's actually quite extraordinary in a lot of ways because today we're joined by property investor slash developer, a multi-millionaire who has taken the property industry by storm and not your average multi-millionaire and that is stay hamilton nice to meet you sir thank you very much thank you so me. much for having me on this podcast on your show you know in your studio yes it's a great privilege so without further ado i want to get into this how did you get this rich that's a question that i ask <laughs> everyone that i interview how did you get this rich i want to know how did you how much money did you start with? How did you get into the business world? What motivated you? So how did you get this rich? Okay, so I don't know how rich you think I am. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so so rich is I mean, based on levels. There are levels okay. to wealth. I know, but we've, you know, I've done my research and I know that you have over 23 million pounds worth of listing over that. Yeah, so, um, um, so that's that one level... of our agents. Yeah, that's one of our estate yeah. agents. Um, we do have a lot of listings and yes, we do extra exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. um, and I started basically from a council estate oh, wow. in Birmingham, um, wow. born to single parents. Mm. My mom, um, she's not with us anymore, mm -hmm. but if she was, she would be extremely proud. Amen. So we grew up with no money, Yeah. struggled. Um, mom was on benefits, she never worked. And yeah, I started with nothing. Wow. Literally wow. zero, no. There's no crazy story. Yeah. I didn't sell LucasAid at school. <laughs> I didn't take sweets and sell sweets. I didn't do any of that kind of stuff that you hear all these entrepreneurs do, mm. um, did. I think a lot of it is made up. Yeah. You know, oh, I wow. was I was the kid at school that sold chocolates and made <laughs> fifty quid a week. You know, there is a handful of people who did that, but the story is you know exaggerated for social media. Yeah. So I basically grew up, no money. Started didn't know what zero. I wanted to do. Started from zero. I left school at fifteen years old. Wow. I was always clever at school. Yeah. I knew my stuff. Mm -hmm. I wasn't like illiterate or anything like that mm -hmm. because I just wasn't. But then it took me all the way up until I was about 23 when my mom passed away to realize I need to do something yeah. and I need to do something different because yeah. if I carry on doing what I'm doing, I'm just going to be getting the same results. Yeah. So yeah, so I just... So, so what exactly motivated you? You know, you've spoken about how you grew up in a council estate. You started from zero to where you are now. So what was that fire under your feet? What exactly pushed you to the point where you say something needs to change? Money. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. money. Like, if you know me and you're around me, you know I am all about money. My <laughs> whole, everything I do is money-based. Okay. I believe life is numbers. Mm. Um, I, I look at life as numbers. All right. um, I don't look at life like other people. So everything we do, from the second we wake up to the second we go to sleep, and yeah. while we're sleeping, there's a cost. Mm. So while you're sleeping, you've got a mortgage to pay. That's true. While you're sleeping, the world's turning, and yeah. there's bills, your yeah. electric, your gas, yeah. everything. Yeah. And then when you wake up in the morning, when you eat, that costs. Mm. Traveling to work costs. Mm. Being at work, yes, you get paid, but there's still a cost because you eat lunch, you take drinks yeah. and stuff like that. You use your phone, which costs. So I base my whole world on numbers. Mm. And when I was growing up, I was just like, when I got to a certain age, like, I need money. Yeah. So when yeah. I used to see people in, you know, really nice cars, mm. I was fascinated. Mm. I used to look and go, what are they doing to get that car? So you never felt envy or jealousy? No, no. I'm the most unenvious person of anybody. Wow. So when anybody gets anything around me, yeah. I'm the first person to congratulate. I'm shouting from the rooftops. Yeah. Don't care what it is you've got. Your first car. Um, you bought your first Ferrari or yeah. you bought your first Vauxhall Corsa. <laughs> I am the guy that cheers all wow. the time. But wow. only for the people that are around me. Of course. Because obviously outside people, I don't know what yeah. their circumstances exactly. are. But my people, I'm I'm number one fan. Wow. I love how you say that's the money motivated you because we have to be true and practical that 
life revolves around money. You know, your everyday choices are based on money. So I want to ask a very controversial question to you. Do you think money creates happiness? Do yes. You think? Oh, wow. 110%. <laughs> um, that's a very controversial statement yeah, right there. Yeah, it is a very controversial statement. And a lot of people who have no money will say that's a lot of bollocks. Oof. But when you've got money, mm. life is easier. Okay. Um, Money can buy you happiness. Wow. It genuinely can, but it's up to the mindset of you to maintain that happiness whilst yeah. you have the money. Yeah. Um, let's be completely honest. Every single person in the world, if I went and gave a million pounds to today, they'd be happy instantly. <laughs> I'm telling you, you can test it on me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. So money does buy happiness. And, you know, rich people will always say, ah, oh, you know, money doesn't buy you happiness. Well, yeah. give all your money away, let's see. <laughs> not, not, not one of them want to give I that money that. away. That's true. Very, very true statement. Like you're saying, give all your money away. Let's see. Yeah, because you never see a poor person say that mm. money can't buy you happiness. Mm -hmm. It's always rich people, you know, preaching, ah, oh, this and that. You know, I've got all the money in the world and I'll be happy if I didn't have it. Give it away then. So why do you think rich people push that narrative? Because it is very difficult to have a happier life when you have money oh. if you're around certain people. Okay. But if you just maintain on your, yourself and your family, mm. happiness is there. Mm -hmm. It's all the external factors that come with money, yeah. um, businesses, yeah. um, just a multitude of people around you yeah. can make you unhappy. Oh, wow. So that's, that's what it is. So with yourself, you've made sure your circle are the, filled with the correct type of people. Yeah, I'm very funny about who I have around me. Okay. My team, who you see today, yeah. that's my whole life. That's my world. Wow. Because I spend more time with them than I do anybody else. Wow. So I try and make it... I don't want to come into my office yeah. where someone's in a mood. Wow. Because yeah. I've built all of this with my Isabella. Um, mm -hmm. The two of us together have built this from nothing. Yeah. Why do I want to come into work unhappy? Why wow. do I want to walk in where my staff members have got a face or they're in a mood? Wow. If, you, if you've got problems at home, tell me. I'll see if I can help. Wow. If not, just stay at home for the day. Wow. And before I get into some of the questions that I've got from, of course, the hundreds of thousands of um, subscribers and viewers of my channel, I want to ask, I know that, um, as you just said, you're Isabella, you know, um, you've mentioned her a lot um, in your videos, on your social media. How does someone find an Isabella just like you did? Um, look, <laughs> um, yeah. the God was looking down on me and just sent me an angel. Um, oh, wow. She's incredible. Amen. She's the most amazing human being. Wow. There is no way you would be sitting here yeah. if I wasn't with Isabella. Wow, that's beautiful. So without her, this doesn't happen. That's we are, beautiful. We are partners 50-50. Everything you yeah. see, yeah. you see me on social media because yeah. she's very private. Yeah. Um, but it's, it was both of us that got us right here today. I, I love that. And thank you so much for being truthful with us as well. Because I've seen many people in your position and they never give, you know, um, the credit to their partner. So to see yourself being so full on about it, to say this is 50-50 with my Isabella is something beautiful. Mm -hmm. And I do pray that the viewers here do also get their own Isabella yeah, as well. Yeah, you've got, you've got to pick the right partner. Yeah. Your partner makes your life. And how did you so, pick the right partner? We stumbled across each other um, wow. through, I knew certain members of her family, like her dad and stuff. Yeah. And we randomly just met each other. And I mean randomly, <laughs> it was just a random thing. Yeah. And I just knew that, you know, when we got together eventually, this was the best thing that ever happened to me in my entire life. Wow, that is beautiful. Thank you so much. So, of course, we hear a lot about the success stories, but we know that the path of failure leads to success. So I want to know, what were some of your biggest challenges in businesses? What were some of your biggest risks? Money. Um, <laughs> money, yeah. Yeah, like when you put money into something, you've got to make sure that you know it's safe and yeah. you've got to make sure that you know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, I made a lot of mistakes at the beginning of my journey because I was uneducated. Yeah. Um, I thought mm. I knew the answers. Mm. I didn't have a mentor as such. Yeah. I had friends around me who I could ask questions to, but there was never mentors. So early mistakes was doing the wrong thing in property with the wrong amount of money. Yeah. And it all it all comes down to being uneducated. Mm. Everything that you do mm. is about what you know about the 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 thing that you're getting into, the strategy or yeah. the business that you're getting into. The more information you have. The more people around you, the more successful you will be. Wow. I was doing it on my own yeah. with nobody around me that understood that I'm trying to get to 100 million. Mm. Like That's my first goal. Of 100 course. million is my first goal. 
Um, but to get to 100 million, you have to break it down in steps. Yeah. There's processes, yeah. which I'm smart enough to understand that. I can't just sit here and think I'm going to be a multimillionaire overnight. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's steps and processes. Yeah. So I broke it down. And the reason that you never hear about my failures mm. is not because I'm hiding them from the world. Mm. It's because when something goes wrong, I fix it. Wow. Immediately. Wow. So I don't want a problem. I need a solution. Mm, and yeah. I fail every day. <laughs> like yesterday, I had six, seven failures. Wow. But the world don't know about them because I don't sit and talk about them. Yeah. I have a conversation with the person I need to have a conversation with. Yeah. Then I'll discuss it with my Isabella. Mm -hmm. We'll make a decision and we'll move forward. Yeah. I believe that if you've got a problem mm -hmm. and you talk to more than two people, mm -hmm. you're not looking for a solution. You're looking for sympathy. Wow. So I basically, all I, I need to speak to the correct person in that department, yeah. and then I need to make the decision with Isabella, and we move forward. Wow, I love that. So you're not looking at the problems, you're looking at the solutions. Yeah, all the time. What can we do to fix this situation? Yeah. So obviously, you've made a lot of money. I even saw one of your posts where you raised, I believe, 1.2 million yeah, in we, 30 we've never, minutes. Yeah, we never raised finance before. I never yeah. needed to. I've always used my own money. But yeah. then obviously, now I'm getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. I was like, let's test the water. Let's see how powerful my network is. And, and we had 1.24 million in 30 minutes and if I'm if I'm being completely honest genuinely I could raise 20 million pounds today just off Instagram <laughs> today that is crazy because people have the trust in the brand and the credibility because mm. as soon as I make one mistake mm -hmm. it goes all over social media yeah so I don't make mistakes that's how, how do you not make mistakes because I am very 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 good at understanding what's going to happen before it happens I can okay. see it Wow. You can see where a mistake's going to be made usually. Wow. Um, and it's usually people. Oh, wow. People. Obviously. Yeah. yeah the, and you just got to deal with it. Wow. Uh, that's so crazy that you do say that. The people to actually be aware of in your business and companies are actually people. Yep. You know, those are the major things. So obviously, you've made a lot of money. I want to ask, how come many youth, many people are not financially in the position you are in? Because they don't have the discipline. Okay. Because this is a disciplined industry oh, wow. in the world. Properties, you've got to be disciplined. Yeah. Um, and most people, we all have the same ability. Mm -hmm. You can do what I do. Yeah. These guys all over there yeah. can do exactly what I do. Anybody yeah. can do what I do. Yeah. But the chances of you doing what I do are incredibly slim mm -hmm. because most people can't flick that switch in the brain, mm -hmm. turn off everything around them, and just concentrate on a goal. Oh. They get distracted by social media, family, friends, relationships. Mm. But if you can just have tunnel vision yeah. and think, right, this is my plan, this is my goal, this is what I'm going to do, and on the days where you don't want to do it, mm. if you can continue to do it past that, you will be successful eventually. Wow, that is crazy that you do say that. So discipline is the biggest thing. Consistency and Consistency discipline. Consistency and discipline. So what has taught you con consistency, discipline? Money. <laughs> It all boils down it back all to the goes same down, thing. Yeah, consistency. Down. Consistency equals money. Discipline equals money. Adding value mm. equals money. How do you not get comfortable? You know, you're at this point. You've bought a Ferrari, a Lamborghini. I think another a Lamborghini Hurricane. You know, Range Rovers. All these different cars. You've got this studio that was built in a matter of two weeks. It's not even finished, completely finished, but it looks absolutely incredible. You've got properties over twenty-three million pounds in listings. How do you not get comfortable? Because I know I can lose it all because there's another version of me out there in the world trying to take my place. Wow. So I literally work every single day as hard as I can. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, there are days when my motivation drops where I just sit at home and I'm like, I don't want to do this today, yeah. Yeah. but I'll still do what I need to do. Yeah. And that's what separates me from a lot of people. Wow. Because people get lazy. Yeah. People will get a little bit of success. People mm. will go and buy the watch they want and yeah. then they'll go out for two weeks thinking they're okay. Yeah. That's not how this world works. Wow. Nobody cares if you're upset. Mm. Nobody cares if you're feeling sad. Nobody cares if you're unmotivated. Mm. No one gives a shit about you, mm. but people give a shit when they constantly see you. Yeah. So you just have to keep going every single day, no matter what is going on in your life, yeah. you have to keep going. And unfortunately, it's just the way of the world. When you die, mm. people have one day where they where they bury you wow. and they have a drink and they talk about how amazing you was. Mm. Oh my God, what a lovely person that person was. Nobody talks about you like that when you're alive. Wow. So why are you why are you bothered? Wow. Just get on with your life, do what you're doing. 
The right people will be attracted to you. Mm. The wrong people will probably be attracted to you for the wrong reasons. But yeah. if you can just focus like that, you'll, you'll be good. Wow. So focus, discipline and consistency are the main fundamental or foundations of your company. Yep. And that is really incredible. I want to ask you, what are the strategies you use to market yourself? Truthfully, hmm. just myself. So I have no outside media agency that does anything for us. <laughs> wow. So it just runs off our social medias right now today. Wow. So my Instagram, yeah. my YouTube, the Property Circle has an Instagram, mm -hmm. 11 Luxury Estates has an Instagram, and we do know we do we do no outside marketing. We don't wow. have a media company that promotes us. We will wow. yep. because now we're two years in. Mm -hmm. I understand what all the brands are. Yeah. My developments are my developments. Mm -hmm. That's my bread and butter. That's what pays for of me course. to have this life. But all the the new things that I've created in the last two years, now I have a vision with them. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to get a media company in to market it correctly. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. So obviously we know that you've made such a huge splash in the property industry. And in that property industry, not even in the property industry per se, but in the business world with the growth of social media and different platforms alike, we notice the term fake gurus. I want to know what is your definition of a fake guru and how can you tell a fake guru from a real property guru? So our world's full of them. Yeah. And when I first started doing the property circle, the networking, the education, I paid attention to everybody in the industry mm. because I'm in, an, I'm in an industry where I need to know what my competition, and I yeah. use the word competition, competition lightly, I need to know what they're doing, mm. okay? So the first year, I watched everybody in my industry and I looked at what they was doing that was good and what they looked at doing what I thought was bad and mm. negative. Obviously, I take the good points yeah. and I make them exceptional. Yeah. And the negative points, the bad points, I don't do any of that. Yeah. Then I started to realize once I started meeting a lot of the property gurus mm -hmm. on social media, and you've got to imagine, there's a lot of people out there, but social media world is very small. Yeah. So I started speaking to members of their networks, members mm -hmm. of their education programs, and it was all negative. It was, wow. and then if you, I do something called a weekly that okay. I put out on a Sunday. You see my life. Yeah. You see what I do. Yeah. Like you can't fake what I do for <laughs> seventy-eight episodes. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. You can fake it gets it, expensive. You can fake it for a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. seventy-eight, two, seventy-eight That's episodes, true. two years later, you've got to be like, oh, shit, this guy really does do what he's saying he's doing. <laughs> the fake gurus are the ones that literally just travel the country, yeah. selling courses <laughs> in hotels five days a week. Where are you doing property? Where are you managing your team? Where That's are you true. managing your builders? Where do you have an operations manager? Where do you have a COO? Yeah. Where's your Where's your people? Yeah. What's going on? Like you're just selling courses. You're just yeah, regurgitating course. shit <laughs> that you've seen yourself and you're an exceptional salesman yeah. or saleswoman. Yeah. That is the definition of a fake guru. Someone who sells shit but doesn't do it. Wow. I practice what I teach. Yeah. I don't practice what I preach. I no, practice what, what I teach. I, teach. Oh, wow. I, I yeah. live my life in developments. Um, yeah. So the fake guru side of it is just someone who just sells courses and just doesn't actually do anything in property. And it's not hard to spot. Hmm. Yeah. But a lot of people don't want the real the realization of this is a hard world. Yeah. This is not easy. They yeah. want the fake gurus who can tell them they'll be financially free in 20, 27 minutes. Wow. You know. Yeah. So yes, that's a fake guru. Wow. And what do you what do you think about the term fake it till you make it? Um, it works in some industries, okay. but you need endless pockets. True. So you, you got to live that lifestyle and eventually you're going to go broke. So you got to have money from somewhere. Yeah. Um, but fake it till you make it seems to work for mm. some people. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't advise it Yeah. because I know a lot of people around me who are faking it for the views and the likes. Yeah. If you're going to fake it for the money, yeah. then... Do what do you that. gotta do, yeah, yeah, yeah. but a lot of people get caught up in the in the likes and the views, which which is craziness. Because I know. <laughs> it's like being, it's like I don't understand. I'm super famous, but you but but you can't do anything. Mm. Can't like, do anything with the fame. You have no money, like you can't go anywhere. What's the point in being super famous if you have no money? Can't even monetize it. No, so it's it's quite it's quite um, yeah yeah. Right, thank I could, you. I could go deep on that. I know, I know. <laughs> so this is uh, closing to my last questions. But as I've been watching your videos, doing my research on you, I do see a, quite a few of um, comparisons 
with yourself and Samuel Leeds. I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, what's your take on Samuel Leeds and what do you think about the comparison? Samuel Leeds is genuinely a guy that's doing big numbers. Mm -hmm. He's not somebody who's in my industry. Okay. I'm a property developer. Yeah. And he does great things in what he does. Yeah. We're not the same. Yeah. And we're not, you can't compare me to Samuel Leeds. Yeah. So, that's so you don't like the comparisons? No, don't like the We're not in the same. Yeah, that, that's I get like you. comparing. <laughs> that with, with, with me and Samuel Leeds, it's like yeah. comparing um, Ronaldo <laughs> with um, someone who does something else, but not in the same thing. Yeah. He doesn't do what I do. Yeah. So we can't compare. He does great things in whatever he does. Yeah. And, you know, he's super successful in whatever he does. Yeah. He doesn't do what I do. I get so you. So you can't compare me to Samuel Lees. I am not the same as anybody. Yeah. Because I actually do what I say I'm going to do. So you can't compare me that. to anybody. There's no one who's yeah. on my level. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And that is confidence. Yes. That's not an arrogance or yeah, a cocky that's, side that's, of me. Yeah. I am one in a billion. I like you that. You can't compare me to anybody. I like that. I want to know uh, one of my last questions, my actual section to last, is... Someone my age, at the age of 19, our biggest demographic on this YouTube channel, I believe, is actually from the ages of 18 to 24 years old. So you can imagine that these, my viewers here, are very, very hungry. And of course, them watching a video like this, they want to be like you. And there's no doubt in my mind this video will surpass 50,000 views, 100,000 views. What does someone watching this video at my age do to be in your position? Okay. This is a rant. Okay. Okay. First thing that you need to do yeah. is get rid of any dead weight. All right, so dead weight meaning? Family, friends, okay. anybody who's negative, anybody. Oh, wow. So if you come to me today, Steve, I want to start a YouTube channel yeah. and I want to interview super successful people mm. and I want to put it out to the world. Mm. And I say to you, oh, what do you want to do that for? Mm. They need to go. Even that one comment, yeah. they need to go because yeah. you need people who actually say, that's going to be amazing. Yeah. How are you going to do it? Yeah. Can I help? Yeah. Do you need help? Or what's your plan? Mm. Tell me what your plan is. Mm. Keep them. Mm. Get rid of all the dead weight. Remove dead weight. But you've got to do that immediately in life. Oh, wow. And that goes with family mm -hmm. as well. So how do you do that? You know, you're connected to your family. I did it. Okay. So I'm living proof. I cut all my family out. And how, how did, did that affect your relationship with them? Yeah, I don't speak to any of them. Oh, I, haven't, wow. I haven't spoken to my sister for six years. Wow. Six years of my life. She's got two children. <laughs> I haven't seen any of her children wow. for six years. It's a choice I decided to make. Wow. And that's when I became super successful. Not from that one. Yes, of course. From, from lots. many others. So I literally just cut my whole ties with anybody. Yeah. And I just focus on that. So that's the first thing. Okay, first thing. Dead weight. Dead weight, yeah. Secondly, don't have any hate or envy in your heart. Mm. Because as soon as you have hate and envy, you bring negativity around you. Your yeah. aura is negative. Yeah. So you'll never, ever be able to achieve great things if mm. you have negativity around you. Mm. So that's another thing. You've got to make sure that you are clean hearted. Yeah. And you want everybody to succeed who you want them to succeed. Yeah. And you've got to make sure you don't look at other people and go, oh, I'm jealous of their success. Mm. You don't have to like them. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying, oh, just because they're successful, you have to like them, but you have to appreciate what they've done to be successful, Yeah. okay? And then thirdly, probably the one thing that you're doing amazingly well at, you need to surround yourself with the people who are doing what you want to do. Yes, sir. Because even a conversation for 10 minutes can mm -hmm. change the thought process that you had previously yeah. that will put you on a new path to success. Yeah. So getting around successful people all the time, mm -hmm. and I mean all the time, yeah. is key. Wow. Thank you so much. So those two fundamental rules, remove dead weight and being around successful people. 100%, yeah.